I don't know exactly if uh, or how many wallets have been hacked, but I got to tell you, since the 4 a.m. this morning when this came out, this has been uh, quite a big deal. And what I'm talking about, you're obviously here because you took a look at the thumbnail. You also took a look at the title and said, hmm, atomic wallet being hacked. That might be a big thing. And though it, so it is. So what we have today, and it uh, should be a quick piece, is that uh, atomic wallet, and this was actually from ba, 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 almost five in the morning this morning. And Atomic Crypto Wallet says, we have received reports of wallets being compromised. And then real quick, let me just check one thing. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we are doing all we can to investigate and analyze the situation. As we have more information, we will share it accordingly. For any questions and concerns, contact support at atomicwall.io. So this was at, uh, you know pretty early. Right now, that is my time. Uh, we usually want to show us. And that would be almost 12 hours, 11 hours uh, so far. And I didn't really think too much of it until the comments started to roll in. And this is Tom. GD, all my hardworking money has been vanished from Atomic Wallet only. This is your responsibility to secure the funds. What will happen to our funds? Please don't copy paste anything here. Da, da, da. And then Zach XBT, who is an interesting person. I'd love to have him on the show at some point. He says, send me a DM with transaction ashes on funds. And we'll get into that in a second. But I took a look at the website and here's the CEO and he's not a big tweeter. So he hasn't put up uh, anything. And then uh, Atomic Wallet itself. No, that's not it. Let me go back. Da, da, da. There we go. Huh. So they haven't tweeted out anything else since 11 hours ago, which is pretty concerning. So if it was just like like a bug or an issue and they did the research, they go, well, you know, that, that's it. But I'm not for sure if more people are losing funds. And I will tell you what's concerning about this is that whether it's a bug or a hack or whatever else it is, people lost their funds in some way, shape, or form, right? The thing is, and the problem is, is that if you're not, not familiar with Atomic Wallet, um, first of all, it resides on your phone or on your, on your desktop, which means it has readable access to uh, internet, which makes it warm or hot wallet, however you want to call it. It's not a cold storage device, but it is non-custodial, meaning that you yourself keep your private keys. Not your keys, not your crypto, right? Your private keys are encrypted and never leave your device. You fully control your funds. No accounts, no verification, no, no KYC, 24-7 live support. So when I'm looking at this, now it's not cold storage, but however, it is concerning about the things that I'm reading here. And then Zach says, you know, give me transactions fees. Uh, my funds are also gone, XRP 8 and 8th. Uh, Cedric, or this is my, they took everything. This guy, $250 worth of Stellar. I'm sure he's not going to miss that. And some other things that uh, go forth uh, in, in, these, in these tweets. And it's pretty eye-opening. At first, I was like, maybe this is something else. Tom makes a good point here, Tom Crown. I did recently see fake Atomic Wallet accounts linking to, obviously, malicious sites on Twitter recently. Don't know if related. Maybe, but you'd have to wonder, like, the timing of it right now, why so many people are losing it right now. And there is some some parts down here where people have said that they haven't lost anything. Oh, except for this, Cedric is, let's see. Yeah, dumb, dumb money trader. I just opened a new atomic wallet a few weeks ago to spread some of my bags around. So far my wallet is fine, nothing is missing. So it's an odd thing if this is compromised or not, or a bug or whatever, whatever it is. All I can tell you is this, it doesn't matter how it's happening, it's happening. So if you have an atomic wallet, it may be in your best interest to move those off to another wallet. And the best case scenario will be a cold storage device. I know people are up in arms against Ledger, which really does suck if you think about it, because back in the day, like, like when I got in, cold storage devices were just like it, like that was it. And Ledger is either, Le 
uh, Ledger or Trezor, essentially. Now, I think it's, that's pretty much what it is. There's, there's other options these days. But it sucks that we have to second guess the cold storage itself when something like this happens. So if you have something in, something in Atomic, the best option would be cold storage. The second best option would be to put it into another warm storage device, non-custodial wallet. I know that's not the best option, but I mean, do you want to leave it in Atomic? And that's up to you. But it begs the question, how the hell did this happen? And then what's going on? I'm not going to jump to any conclusions as to what is happening. I'm just reporting the news to you and saying it is happening right now. We don't know for sure exactly why it is happening, but it is going on. So I will, uh, I will leave that up to your own devices, but I just want to put this out as fast as possible and just tell you that, uh, hey, you're at risk. Anyhow, what do you think about that in the comments section? But here's some good news, I think. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy. I, this isn't a political channel, right? I have my own views on politics, which I will not share here, because if I do that, why don't I just tell you my religion? And then we can get into that debate. That would be like a disaster. So I don't do those things. But what I did think that was pretty cool is this is from uh, Bitcoin Magazine. They said Robert F. Kennedy is the first and only presidential candidate who is allowing donations into Bitcoin. It's very simple to do, actually. Uh, you know, you can pay this amount or whatever you want to do. Uh, you can put your card in or you just click on this Bitcoin part here and then you put in your information and just so you know, and I, I, I do appreciate this. It says uh, the contribution rules. I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm 18 years old, not a federal contractor. And then it says it asks for your occupation employer. And it says if you don't have an employer or are retired, put N.A. And if you're self-employed, put self-employed. So I just put, well, that's what I am. But I mean, I'm just saying, I did that. I thought it was just interesting how they did that. Because, I mean, some people like want your, you know, firstborn child's blood to, to donate, which is retarded or ridiculous, excuse me. <laughs> Anyhow, and then here it is over here. Once you get to the Bitcoin part, uh, let me just load this up again. And very simple. It takes on-chain and lightning. Very smart for them to do lightning where the, where the transaction fees are minimal. Well, almost nothing. So I thought that was great. Step in the right direction. I like to see these things. What did you think? I like to see that. And then lastly, just to finish off, and then we'll we'll talk about what we'll is do a little little back and forth conversation. So get your questions ready. I'll answer the best of my abilities. But I wanted to touch on this. Uh, Nakamoto Games. Nakamoto dot games. As you know, on this channel, I think blockchain and web through gaming are gonna be big but I'm not for sure that everything's gonna be big. And what I wanna ask everybody to do is this. I linked their website in the link in the description. They have free to play, play to earn games and da da da. And some people say, Rob, I'm an adult. I don't play games. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I'm an adult too. And guess what? I'm pretty sure most of us don't do adult things all the time. I don't find it very adult-like as I'm st strolling through Twitter constantly because I have a horrible addiction to that or Facebook or Instagram, whatever else you got. Let's just be honest. We're all there, right? So I always say this. If you don't want to just waste time, why don't you earn a little, little crypto on the side and try to play these, these goofy games? But the question I have for everybody is this. Uh, for Nakamoto Games, I want you to go there. I want you to play these games. And I want you to tell me what you think of the games. And I also want you to be able to link your wallet on the Polygon network because everything is in Polygon transactions. All transactions are, are done on the Polygon chain. So I want you to do that and tell me how easy it is for you. I've already set it up. I already know the answer for me, but I want to see how it is for you. If this is, su if this is truly easy and on its way for mass adoption, that will be very interesting. And uh, you can put that in the comments section or I put that on uh, Twitter. And you can uh, answer there. The link for the Twitter uh, feed is in the description below. But that's it. I just want to make this short and sweet. It's Saturday. It's a beautiful day. So I thought I'd uh, warn everybody about the dangers of atomic wallets, Robert F. Kennedy accepting Bitcoin, and um, Nakamoto Game to see what people think. So we'll see. Anyhow, that's it for today. If you liked today's video, thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I try to keep you up to date as best as possible. A lot of things are happening. You don't have to subscribe to me. Just get your news from somebody because things are going to start moving faster. But that's it. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you now.